Hi, you want some uh, chocolates? There's letters here too if you want to like write a note for your for your Valentine's. No, no. Okay, I'll just eat it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello. Today, we bring back another Blockbuck Strange Builds episode. I've been doing a lot of Strange Builds lately, like the past three videos have been um, bird related. And um, today, it's going to be a vending machine house. Now, um, you're probably like, Pina, why are you doing so many weird builds lately? Honestly, this is the only kind of video idea I have in mind. Just building houses out of like objects is pretty fun. That's why. And you guys have seen me build the same houses over and over many, many times. So I feel like, you know, these strange builds are very unpredictable and they're kind of spontaneous. So it's perfect. So yeah, that's that's my reason for doing all these strange builds. I think it's kind of fun. You guys have been suggesting some very fun strange builds as well. Now, I've actually done a, a vending machine house like three years ago and that's when I was at less experience builder i won't call myself a bad builder back then because i'm not trying to roast myself but i was a bad builder back then <laughs> i was a pretty bad builder back then three years ago this, it was this vending machine house i kind of want to just redeem myself i do not want to make it oversized like that oh gosh wait what did i even do okay so the bottom floor was the bottom floor was a garage i guess and then yeah these rooms were pointless okay we're gonna change that today we're changing that today that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we always figure things out okay we just have an idea and we figure it out. We turn our ideas into reality. Let's do a six. Six wide house. Yes, six wide. And then I'll just do maybe like this much. I think that's the size of our vending machine. So yeah, we're going to build the shape of a vending machine, which is really simple. It's just a big old rectangle, very tall rectangle. And I think I'm going to make three floors. All right, just like that. Still kind of looks funny. Should I do four floors? I think I might base it off of this one. It's very modern. This looks like a very modern vending machine. Area where the food comes out at the bottom. Color code of the day, I forgot. Okay, I almost forgot. This one's from Morgan the Ghost. Very interesting. How in the world do you think of these things? I've been working on one plot for so long. It's not even creative. Like how? Yeah, it, I mean, it, I don't know how either. It's just it's strange bills are back. I think it suits you. Is it blue? I hope it's blue. I hope it's blue. So they said 117, 217 and 242 I, I knew it I knew it if you give me a color code and say it suits me I know it's gonna be blue or something right I don't know I there's so I don't know it really is just a giant rectangular box all right I'm gonna add some pillars though I'm gonna add some pillars maybe like some round pillars give it a bit of roundness you know because any machines aren't just like square you know they're not just flat out squares right okay I just realized I need to just rescale this save me some money we can do that we can rescale these pillars I'm just gonna add these to the corners you're gonna be like what in the world okay we, got, we just gotta make it look a little bit more attractive okay we gotta we gotta make it a little bit more spicy maybe some wall trimming too I don't I don't know detailing it's like very little detailing very very little detailing part of me is thinking should i put windows on this or should i make basic shape windows to make it a little bit more smoother because we have come so far in block brick building now we can do we can actually make it look pretty good first floor is where i'm gonna put like the dispenser looking like thing maybe i can just put like a, a framed or i can just do an opening right can i just do like an opening Ooh, an arched opening kind of i don't know you get what I mean? Why, wait, wait, wait. That's kind of dumb, right? I don't know. Maybe just a regular, like... I want to basic shape it. I want to basic shape it. I'm totally going to basic shape it. I want to put my stairs down first before we do anything else. So I can, I can have an idea. We might have to go with some, like, L stairs. Where's the front door going to be, actually? Where would the front door be? Hmm. Might be, a, like, a back door type of thing again. Or, wait, this could be the front door. Like, the, the opening. The, the items usually come out. This could literally just be the front door. Why don't I just do that? You know? Why don't I just do that? That's smart. That would be a smart thing. I mean, it makes sense. This could be my foyer, actually. I'm gonna make it a foyer. <laughs> my entryway. Do I want to put a door here or just leave it, like, an, as an opening and put, like, a curtain on here as a door to act like a door? Because I think I could just do that. Just put a curtain here so I don't need an actual door. But, yeah, I think that's the plan. Through here, you'll, there'll be some stairs that will lead you to the next floor. I think we should be good with that. Can I make it into a mini bathroom? You think that's possible? We'll leave that there for now. Okay, okay, okay. We can just grab this transparent cube for the window, like, the glass, you know? I don't want to put, like, a bunch of windows and that just looks weird oh look at that you can rescale it so much too okay i'm gonna put it up here can I do that oh i need a floor i need a floor i need a floor okay don't worry about that it's easy just like um this hold on let me just stop Woo! <laughs> okay i need to stop i need to stop i've been making noise every time i rescale something all right, and then I want um, another piece over here. I'm gonna make this too wall, too, too, too wide, too wide, just like that. I think that's good. Oh wait, no, we just do one because our buttons are gonna be like on the right side. So we need to just do this. 
I'm gonna place these at the top and we should be good now. I don't think we need to do anything else. Already looks so good. And then I need to bring this down because it's going too high up to the sky now. Okay, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move on to this. I'm gonna flip flop around way too much with this build. I'm sorry. I'm I have to. I'm going to just add things. Can I still add this? Oh, I can. Nice. We need paintings for the buttons. You know, just a dial pad. I think that's what it's called. Just a dial pad. I'm gonna grab the biggest rectangle. We're gonna grab the biggest painting possible. Do that. Let me see if I can find a dial. Dial pad. Is that what it's called? A dial pad. <laughs> dial 911 dial 911 excuse me look this is good but it's not it's, it doesn't match we need to do i have to make my own that's what i did last time i put like separate paintings of like numbers and i kind of made my own that way but i just want like once how about that you know so far this is the most decent one but still i don't think it really fits with my vending machine my vending machine needs specific looking buttons we need we need special dial pad button it's not a very accurate dial pad this is not what you would see on an actual vending machine but it works for now so which kind of food would you like um i'll take the number eight all right and then we need the um the like screen above it that would be pretty good i think we can just use i'll just use this one and just shrink it well, that's pretty good all right and obviously with the roof we just will probably just do a flat roof with this we put like right here that's where the money goes and maybe we'd have to like i don't know what i'm doing okay Peta, you're a genius <laughs> you're a genius is all i want to hear <laughs> you're a dumb genius i know <laughs> a round of applause for this for this work round of applause for how dumb this is i I can't, I just, if it, if there's a simple solution for this, I just couldn't think of it, all right? I just couldn't think of it, all right? I'm just coloring with my structure rolls. Okay. <laughs> hey, I did it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Okay, moving on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. We don't need to talk about it anymore. We don't need to talk about it anymore. Anymore. We don't need to talk about Bruno. No, 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 no. We don't talk about Bruno. It was my wedding day. Um, I'm also gonna add this to the top of it. Just uh, also do not worry about what this is. We're, we're creating something here. It's going to be something. I saw on the top of the vending machine, it had like a bit of like a curviness to it. I don't think I did that very well. Oh, what if I put like a slanted roof right here, you know? Like I actually make it feel like a house with this. This would be such a fun idea. Just put a slanted roof here. To make it feel a little bit more like a house, I just added this whole slanted roof here and um, some pillars underneath that. Just give it a bit more of a home vibe. A home-like vibe. I really should just put a door here. Why didn't I just do that? Maybe some plants. I'm thinking some plants now. Like some floor plants on each side. I mean, it's feeling pretty modern. I'm gonna add some like of these plants outside. All right, let's make a pathway actually. Let's do a little pathway. Once again, I already kind of have a feeling of what my interior is gonna look like. So make like some huge cypress trees around the build itself. When in doubt, add your trees. Add many, many trees. Okay, now the exterior looks a little bit more interesting. Okay, honestly, <laughs> I like it. I like this one. What else do we have on a vending machine? We have the buttons. We have like the little screen. We have a place to insert the cash. Hold on, let me go find advertisement. Now open all over Bloxburg. Oh, I don't know. I could put like even more tinier details on the sides and stuff, which I think I might, you know, I might, I might do that. Might a little bump out or something here. Maybe I'll just go to here and then copy and paste that one to here. Maybe add like another slanter room right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add some bump outs to the side so it's not just like a rectangle box house. All right, I think that's good. Our exterior is pretty okay. All right, let's just work on the interior now. Their exterior is pretty decent now. Okay. Okay, so as soon as you walk up to this floor, this is going to be... How many levels do we have? We have three floors? Oh, we have two floors after this one. So entry, you go up the stairs there. Okay, I'm thinking living room and kitchen in this area. Okay, kitchen along this wall living room around here and if we go upstairs this would be the bedroom and office or something like that okay i have an idea it's perfect let's just do that all right i might put a ladder actually let's see yeah i might do a ladder here maybe i could do like a little loft or something or maybe the kitchen should be this way and then the living room's right here okay i feel like i have it flipped okay i think that might work a lot better not next to the fridge let's put the counter here and then a stove here 
Okay, flip flopping around. This is probably one of the more challenging strange worlds I had to deal with right now because I, I need to flip flop around a bit more to clear my brain a bit. So I'm gonna have like an outdoor eating area right here, like a little patio or something, some sort of patio. And then I'm gonna need um, a, an umbrella. I do love the umbrella. The umbrella like right here. I think that's where it will go. Perfect. And then I had the idea of having like my bike just chilling right here. I like decorating. Oh my gosh, doesn't look nice. Look at that. Cool. See, that actually helps a lot because there was this like the walkway is okay, but then there needed to be something here. I want to keep my trees on the sides of like the opening here. By the way, you're gonna have to jump. You're gonna have to jump into to get into here. Actually, maybe I'll just do a basic shape. Maybe like a step into the house. All right, that looks a lot better. Actually, it looks a lot better. I'll just put it here. And I'm gonna put the sink here. And then we get some cabinets, some really quick, easy, modern cabinet. Do this one. Last one, oven hoods. And this one's gonna be a pantry cabinet. This one's gonna be a modern pantry cabinet. One right there, perfect. And you can kind of squeeze through to get through here. All right. Maybe like an ensuite bathroom. I'm gonna do a two by three this time for an ensuite bathroom. We have a bit more space to make like a different looking bathroom. But you're gonna go through here and then this will be like the main bedroom area. Look at that now. <laughs> it still reminds me of a hotel. That's fine, right? Can I put it right here? Oh, <gasps> wait, you can put it right there. Ah! Wow, I love, I forgot. You can actually put like things on the sides of the shower. Wait, why? Why am I doing this? Why didn't I just put a door? Why do I just add a door? No, I'm keeping the realistic. I'm keeping the vending machine like dispenser, like dispensing spot. Okay, I'm keeping that. Okay, so let's work on our foyer. I'm flip-flopping too much around these ones. I haven't used this in so long. Oh my gosh. I haven't used this shelf in so long. <gasps> Pretty. And then we have like this small one. Wow, this shelf was made for these plants. It really will really was made for it and then we have like our picture frames and stuff here of course wrong way wrong way not that way there we go it was a little confused all right it was a little confused i actually really like this how this is turning out so far okay that first floor is pretty much like set it's kind of minimalist um maybe i could add like a actually i feel like i could i could add like a ladder shelf that's good oh yes wait <gasps> okay i'm finished i quit all right, guys. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'm actually surprised with how this turned out, but it's finally done. Our vending machine home is here. So let's go ahead and take a look from the outside. Oh my gosh, the thumbnail for this is actually going to look pretty decent. But yeah, this is, um, here's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty, it looks pretty nice. Very modern. I will say it's got a modern, uh, theme for it. So here's 360. Nothing too crazy. The back is just rectangular. So when you walk through this weird path, you have to jump through this window. This is like basically where your uh, drinks come out of. So <laughs> this is where you come out. So I just made that like the door. You know, there's a curtain right here. So it actually, you know, works like a door. I, I should have put that on the other side, but that's pretty much the door. So you close that. You walk in here. You got your foyer entrance entryway area. There's that. And then over here is like a mini office. I like this. I like this a lot. One of my favorite areas with this house. I didn't color the roof. Don't look at it. I didn't color the ceiling. Um, it's just a random ladder storage thing. Over here is a mini bathroom. Um, Full-size bathroom. Not even a mini. It's just a two-by-two two bathroom. Standard pita bread bathroom. We don't have to look at that too much. You've seen that. Closet is just like for more clothing and whatnot. So there's that. If we go up these stairs, we welcome ourselves into the kitchen slash living room. And it's also very simple decorating around here. But yeah. Yeah, very simple. So this is a ladder now. Oh, that's a floating light. Why do I always do that? I don't know. We go up here. <laughs> uh, this is, we don't talk about this. Like, I guess this is kind of like a window, but um, that's where like the money is supposed to come in technically. Like we go up here now. This is another bathroom as well. And it's of course a two by three or three by two. Yeah, very nice. Very, very nice. Once we leave that, here is the main bedroom area. Yeah, you can watch TV and stuff and you have a nice view. Very open, no privacy. Wonder if I can hang up a curtain here. We'll see if that works, if that's even possible. But that's my vending machine house. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. It's so nice. Way better than my other, my first attempt at a vending machine house back in 2019. So I redeemed myself. I redeemed myself. But anyways, that wraps up today's block break episode. If you guys enjoyed it, you found it interesting, inspiring. Um, in a way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up and make sure to subscribe too because it is completely free. But thank you guys for taking the time to watch this and I will talk to you all in the next video. Goodbye. Hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. I'm really, really happy with this build.